his fingers moving. And if you may notice, I wasn't using my first finger. I find generally now that my first three fingers work pretty well together, but still stupid fingers, even after 30 odd years of playing, they work less gooder than these first three. So I practiced this, this idea. It's not something I, I do a, uh, like for a long time, maybe a couple of minutes, but the idea is just playing everything with my last three fingers and I'm just using a scale. I might start and thumb, I'm not using fingers, all thumb. So it doesn't matter what scale you use, I'm just using E Phrygian because I like it, why not? If I'm uh, playing through the scale, what I will do is just a combination of sort of random hammer-ons and pull-offs and I'll start slow. doing a, a pattern the whole way through I might go up a few times in groups of four notes one two three four one two three four or three one two three one two three one two three one two three doesn't really matter the idea is just to go through consistently go through the scale get through as cleanly as you can take it at the speed where you can actually control your fingers mine are cold so I'm not even doing a great job right now so don't trust me don't listen to me what do I know next step is leaving this finger on so now I'm playing basing things around an F well forget the capo let's pretend it's an F because we're guitarists and we don't care so I will play up the chords, uh, sorry, up the scale. Land on there. And then I start strumming two, two strings or three or four, depending on where these two fingers end up. If I've only got five minutes before I have to play, I'll do that. And then I'll do other stuff for this hand. So, you know, whatever. Give it a shot. See how you go. Cheers. <laughs>